Hi, I'm back again, and the next part, the next dance, guess what? It's called Tanguyuse Chufla. Chufla is mean to have fun, to be playful. And it's all about a studio, a dance studio with an angry teacher and a student who is a hand. That's me. So it's a small excerpt. And but you'll enjoy because it's a fun thing. All right, so enjoy the teacher and the hand dancer doing a lecture for you. All right, then afterwards, I think we're going to go into a no, um, talking about food. I have to talk about food, that's right. You know, something I have to talk about food. Well, that's a very good subject for me because we love to go into the very Spanish restaurants all over New Jersey. There's a couple in, of course, you all know the Ironbound in Newark, right? I go to Don Pepe and Forno, but there's some wonderful restaurants in central New Jersey. We have our annual gala in Rio Mar in Seville. Fabulous food. We just had a wonderful celebration of five of our dancers who got awards for being with our company for 20 years in Lola's Latin Visto in Metachi. What a wonderful evening outside, twinkling lights, beautiful, fabulous food. All right, and don't forget also that in Point Pleasant, there's your office out, a little bit pricey, but the food is fabulous and Spanish potato in brick, also fabulous food. So, talking about food, Maria is going to show you and demonstrate all the history of paella, all right? Which you'll thoroughly enjoy. And I hope you've all made or eaten paella. Then afterwards, we go to a dance called the Verdiales. Verdiales is all about the olive harvest. In the north, you know, the south of Spain, above Malaga, every year they have this harvest gathering olives. The men wear flowered hats, but in this case, you'll also see our students, some of the students we have on stage, wearing flowered hats as well. Then after that, Lisa is going to show you how to make gazpacho. Gazpacho is a very, very loved Spanish summer soup. All right, so she's going to demonstrate and talk to you how to make gazpacho. All right, then we go back to Dr. Marlies to make a summary of the whole event that you've just seen. And after that, I think you saw at the beginning the Sevillanas, so we're going to reshow it just to end this program on a very happy note. This dance is from Sevilla, danced every Easter. The guys wear black hats, the women dance are all fluffy, and they dance with castanets, shawls, and fans, and everyone has a wonderful time. So that's how it's all going to end. So I'm going to cut off here and say, buenas noches, gracias, enjoy the rest of the show. All right?
known dishes in the Spanish cuisine. Its name actually comes from the pan used to cook it. It's an old-fashioned shallow pan with two handles. If you've come to the ferry before, you've seen this classical beauty in action. My name is Maria Hill. I'm a student with Alvarado Spanish Dance Theater for almost a decade. Now I'm also serving as a member of the board. Everyone knows the main basic ingredients of paella, short grain rice, saffron, smoked sweet paprika, vegetables, along a variety of fish, seafood, or chicken. However, rice and saffron are the true essentials of this dish. Paella goes back to the 10th century when Moors in Muslim Spain began rice cultivation along its east coast, what we know now as Valencia and Murcia. Rice dishes became a staple by the 15th century. Traditionally, paella made in Valencia was a midday farmer meal, cooked outdoors over a wood fire. Workers would gather what was available to them around the rice fields. This often included tomatoes, onions, and snails. Also, rabbit or duck was a common addition. Alborada has for many years offered our Ferry de Sevilla visitors the opportunity to watch this spectacular dish come together and taste it while enjoying our feria. So come and join us for a virtual walk through our casetas de feria and watch how paella is cooked. And after you dance Sevillanas with us today, we will share the traditional recipe with you. We hope you enjoyed today our very special annual Alborada Feria and we may welcome you again next year to enjoy a delicious serving of Spanish paella. Thank you. Gazpacho. Gazpacho is one of the most delicious and nutritious cold soups from Spain. And it actually has a very interesting history. Centuries and centuries ago, the Roman legions marching into Spain carried with them these five ingredients, which they ate as part of their regular diet. Bread, olive oil, garlic, vinegar, and salt, which they pounded into a thick paste with a mortar and pestle. Centuries after that, the Moors occupying Spain added to these five ingredients almonds and cumin. 
And this version is called Ajo Blanco from Granada and Malaga. Now, centuries after that, the Spaniards coming back from the New World to Spain brought with them tomatoes from the Andes. So now the tomatoes were added to our five basic ingredients and we have a new soup called Salmorejo, which is popular in Cordoba. Now, centuries after that, we add three extra ingredients, the bell pepper, the onion, and cucumber. The bell pepper also came from the Andes and Mexico. This version with all of these ingredients is called gazpacho andaluz, which is the most popular version of gazpacho today. And it is the version that I have made for you. And all you need to make it is a blender and some very fresh ingredients. You can't go wrong no matter which version you make. You can add all these delicious toppings to it. You can have chopped egg, chopped ham, diced tomatoes, and green peppers, and onions, and cucumbers. And so we can we try it. Mmm! Que rico! Buen provecho! Gaspacho! Hi everyone! Back in New Jersey, New Jersey's population is not only compromised of Spaniards, but groups from Mexico, the Caribbean, Central, and South America. Spanish, Latino, Latinx, Hispanic culture and cuisine is seen throughout the state from food to music to art, literature, radio, and TV broadcasts. As for flamenco, in New Jersey, it can be found in restaurants and festivals, especially in areas that have significant Spanish-American populations. Keeping the diversity of the Hispanic people alive in New Jersey through connection with their Andalusian roots is the Alborada Spanish Dance Theater, as we see directed by Eva Lucena, it's, and it is one, the one and only premier flamenco dance company in New Jersey. In conclusion, Andalusia is a diverse region which influenced much of Europe in its time of flourishment during the Moorish reign. Under the Catholic kings, its diverse culture disseminated into the Western world. Later, Spaniards came to New Jersey directly from Andalusia and indirectly through Spanish America. And it is through the arts that Andalusian culture and history continue to contribute to New Jersey's identity. Thank you for this historical, taking this historical tour with me. Gracias, adios, and we will continue with our next dance.
come to the end of a journey which I hope you've all enjoyed because we have really enjoyed doing this for you. Now there's a new thing going on. We have been told we can do an in live, live production of our annual grant show or home season, but only 60 people are allowed. So you'll be getting an e-blast to you all. It's going to be in a beautiful theater in uh, New Brunswick. And the theater is large. There's a lot of social distancing. So I do hope when you get the e-blast, you come on again to Eventbrite and come and see us live. We like to be together with you. So for the moment, hope you enjoyed again this lovely program as we did. Have a lovely evening. Adios, buenas noches from all of us here at 